Hey there, what's going on, Virgo? How are you? My name is Antoine. I want to welcome you or welcome you back to the House of Luminance. We're here to go over your love messages for the end of December 2022. All right. So these messages will roughly cover the 21st right on through New Year's Eve. Um, speaking of New Year's Eve, you guys, happy holidays to you. Um, thank you so much for your time, y'all. Um, let's go ahead and get right on into it. These energies are going to be for uh, all placements of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as, um, you know, the Virgo lover, okay, if you're here in the house. So let's go ahead and get into the energies for Virgo, end of December 2022. What's going on for Virgo? Mm, yeah, okay, one more. Okay, Virgo, so we have flighty, all right? We have flighty, and then under the deck, we have magic moment, okay? Hmm. Um, okay. All right, let me, tell you, let me tell you this, Virgo, what I feel. I feel like there is an opportunity here to have a beautiful moment, to have a beautiful, uh, for something to just come together in a very beautiful way, um, there is an opportunity for magic to happen, okay? Especially when it comes to a relationship with someone, maybe a budding relationship that you're having with someone around this time or during this time, okay? There's a beautiful moment to, to, to be have had. I, I, I get this feeling though, uh, Virgo, I'm sorry if I called you another sign, by the way. Um, I get this feeling, Virgo, that mm, when that moment comes, though, is there, there's some sort of, like, freeze that happens, or maybe you decide to, like, have a, a moment of, like, you know, like your fight or flight response, and, like, you choose, you know, the flighty part of it, okay? Now, with, with that being said, Taurus, uh, sorry, why do I keep saying Taurus, or keep trying to say Taurus? Virgo, with that being said, um, I don't know, you could be having this response uh, for some particular reason, okay? Uh, maybe it, it could be, it could be you feeling though, like you're not ready, um, or maybe like when the moment happens, it's like you're just too psyched out or like, you know, it's just too, it's just too much of a moment to where it's like you... You uh you don't respond the way you wish you did in your head, okay. We're gonna clarify this Virgo so that we can get a more a better understanding um, of the energies here. So let me go ahead and just put that over there. And um, why I don't know why I keep wanting to say Taurus here instead of Virgo. Uh, you could be dealing with the Taurus in that regard. Okay, or you could be a Taurus watching this for the Virgo person. Um, you know, just let me know in the comment box below how that's going. But but Virgo, 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 Virgo. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna reiterate. Um, I just feel like yeah, like there's. You know, a building, a budding moment that could be building, Virgo, and it feels as though when it arrives, there's a freeze up or you run away from it. All right. Here we go, you guys. the Knight of Wands. All right. You have the Eight of Cups. Okay. Ace of Wands. Okay, well, that just got interesting. All right. And then 
the emperor. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Understood. So, Virgo, I think the, the thing here is that there are, like, certain qualities, right, that you are looking for. And although you may be attracted to this person, um, there's still certain ways. Uh, like, the, the reasons that you're attracted to them are kind of almost superficial, right? Um, it feels like, A, they're very good in bed. If you've gone there with that person, right, it feels like they're very good in bed. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, and that could be the magic moment that we're speaking of that kind of makes you have this like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Um, this realization. But it feels like everything that's like mostly the things that are attractive about them are kind of like on a physical level. All right. Um, and so is that enough for you to like stay attracted to them? Right. Or to stay wanting to be involved, Virgo, in a way. And the reason why I say this is because, like I said, there is like a certain attribute that I think maybe you're looking for or that you fear that they really don't possess. And it's like, you know, yes, they are very action oriented. Uh, they have great, you know, sex. They have great, you know, you have great chemistry with this person. But but are they like a good leader? You know what I'm saying? Um, it feels like this person is more of like a a follower. And it would be one thing if they were just somebody who just kind of did their own thing, right? That doesn't necessarily make them a leader. It's just, you know, they just, they don't want to lead and they don't want to be led, right? That wouldn't be too bad. But like this person just seems like they're just a straight up follower. Um, and it's just something that you can't get jiggy with. Yeah. And it's something that I do feel like in the long term, you could possibly regret. Um, and maybe that's why that, you know, you're kind of having this response. Like in a, in a way, I feel, I always feel like this is like the, a red flag card. There's, you know, you've seen different Oracle decks and, you know, they generally lay out, you know, cards about red flags or something to that degree. And I definitely feel like this card a lot of the times is like that red flag card to me, where it's like you maybe possibly notice certain red flags, but then you carry on anyway. But then it was like, mm -mm, nope, I should have, I should have ran at that site. You know what I'm saying? I should have, you know, with the flighty energy, you know? Um, also, red being such a prominent color in all the three surrounding cards as well. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pull some more energy, y'all. Huh? The Six of Swords. All right. And the Eight of Wands. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Let me tell you what I feel already. I feel like there's a lot of communication that you're going to be having during this time, Virgo. It's really you going to have to make some sort of communication with this person um, to kind of let them know, like, what direction you're headed towards um, when it comes to what you want to do. Okay. Um, it, I feel like it feels like it will clear your mind a lot uh, by having this particular conversation. Once you're able to get this off your, your chest, once you're able to communicate what it, you're feeling to this person and why you don't, you don't necessarily want to move forward with them, even though there's a lot of chemistry here. Um, just that in of itself, being able to finally express that and communicate that with that person it will feel like a lot of weight off of your chest, okay? Um, that's what I'm getting. Okay. Seven of Wands. Oh, okay. Got a lot of Wands energy here. Okay, Seven of Wands. Mm -hmm. Nine of Pentacles. And then the High Priestess, all right? So for many of you, a lot of what I'm saying, this High Priestess energy is just confirmation um, that... Um, you know, you're following your intuition and that this is truly 
what it is that you want to do. I feel like a lot of you really want to remain independent and in effect. In fact, it feels though like, you know, Virgo, you're such a leader, right? That it's like you want somebody, you want to have, you want maybe somebody to be able to, you know, like trail behind for once. You know what I'm saying? And don't get that twisted, Virgo. I'm not trying to say, I'm not trying to just throw, you know, uh, you know, being, you being dominated by somebody. I'm not trying to throw that on you and, and say that that's what you want. I'm not saying that. It's just, you are such a good leader. You are so independent that it would just feel like a relief every once in a while to have somebody who didn't mind picking up, you know, that torch. And, um, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, that's what I feel like here with the nine of uh, Pentacles, the emperor and the seven of wands here. Okay. And it's like, you just don't even feel like you need to defend that reason why, you know, it's just, all right, let's just go ahead and let me go ahead and walk away from this. Um, even though there may have been moments where you have shared that we're very intimate and that we're very magical. Okay. But just ultimately there are other red flags. What accent was that? <laughs> Ultimately, there are other red flags that um, just kind of make you feel like Virgo, you know, that this isn't the type of situation that you truly want to invest in. And I think that your intuition has been telling you that a lot as of late. And um, yeah, I do feel like many of you will be, you know, having like some goodbye uh, physical time, you know, just for the one time. Um, and then that's it. And then that's it. So let me know what's going on, Virgo, in the comment box below. Thank you so much for your time. I truly appreciate it and value it always for sure. Um, thumbs up, like, subscribe. And, uh, oh, I just had it. You may be dealing with an Aries. Okay. As well. I see that too. So uh, Aries. And then what did I, I kept saying Taurus. So that could be it as well. All right, Virgo, so take care. Bye.